Hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about how to edit a PDF file using Soda PDF. Your PDF file is going to be made up of what's called document elements. These are the unique pieces that can be arranged on a PDF page to give you the look and feel that you want. While in edit mode, you can click on anything you see to select those particular document elements and manipulate them. In Soda PDF, all text will be found in blue text boxes. When you see a blue border, it means you can type into that area and Soda PDF will treat that area like it's a text editor. In Soda PDF, all images will have red borders and every other kind of document element will have a purple border, letting you know that you can head over to the properties and configure its specific settings. All elements can be rearranged on your page. You can move any element around your page by holding down the left mouse button and dragging your cursor. When you release the mouse button, the element will update in its new position. As I move the element around my PDF, you'll see green dotted lines appear. These lines will tell you when the field is aligned with the other fields that are next to it. You can use these lines to make sure your PDF stays neat and tidy. You can add new text to your PDF by heading to the Edit tab and then clicking on Type Text, moving your mouse cursor into your document, and then left-clicking to create a new text box. You'll see that the context bar updates immediately to show you the text-specific settings with all the remaining options found in the Properties section by heading over to this side and then choosing between Font Settings and Paragraph Settings. Please note, that any settings you make in a text box will be applied only to that text box and you can use the make default option in order to save these settings for use in future text boxes. As an example, I can go ahead and make my text red. And then if I type into the box, you'll see that the text is red. I can then click on make default and proceed to add a new text box where you'll see that the content is still red. At any time, I can reset this default by clicking on this option. You can also add a text box at any time while in edit mode by double clicking anywhere into an empty part of your document. You can also edit existing text by left clicking onto any text that you see and proceeding to make any changes that you want. If you have any particular settings in one text box you'd like to copy over to another, you can click into text box one Choose the Format Painter, head over to Text Box 2, and you'll see that the format is copied over into the new text box. At any time, you can close the Text Context menu by clicking on this X option, which reveals the modes again, letting you select a different kind of mode. When you choose an image, you'll see that there are options to crop and clip that image, as well as options to apply OCR directly on it. Otherwise, you can move your image around your document. When it comes to other document elements, they can be rearranged and resized in the same way. But in addition to that, you'll be able to go through the properties for each feature and set it up the way that you'd like. We have videos on this channel for most other kinds of document elements that you can consult if you need more help with a particular feature. It's worth noting that each page of your PDF is a unique container and while they may look like a Microsoft Word file where everything flows into the next page, they are completely independent of each other. If I try to move this image across the edge of the page, you'll see that it does not pass. The only way to move content from one page to another will be to right click and choose the cut option and proceeding to paste that content onto the next page where you'll be able to rearrange it. Well, that's all there is to it for now. Let us know in the comments if you found this video helpful. Like the video if you did and subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook to stay up to date with everything happening in the world of Soda PDF. Thanks for watching and please have a wonderful day.